Hello there, welcome back to the F122 My Team Career Mode. So it's about season break time. Uh, we'll give you a look at the points. Uh, we hopefully we're gonna have a lot of upgrades come in, and we're really gonna shake up this team here. But uh, yeah, it's all Ferrari. They're shitting on everybody. Uh, Chuck's shitting on everybody else, uh, even his teammate. I'll take a look at the rest of it though. Uh, and all the seasons I've ever done, uh, this is pretty rare. Like I, the AI has just been on another level of stupid, uh, which is kind of why I'm disappointed that Bent still hasn't managed to score some points with all the stupidity. However, with with however many races left in the season, right there around halfway, uh, there's only two people who have yet to score: our teammate and then Albon. So uh, I like to think, I like to hope everybody will end up with points. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Ben's got to get get one at least. Before we do anything else, uh, we need a fabrication upgrade. We finally got enough money for one. I think our worst department is uh, is chassis. If we look at this, uh, yeah, this tree here. So let's uh, let's go fabrication. Twenty two point five million. Uh, max number of upgrades and development simultaneously will be increased to two. That's gonna help out a hell of a lot, let me tell you. Then here's a look at the upgrades going, so that means we can get one in the arrow. Alright, so there's a look at everything we got going on. We need to get an arrow to uh, upgrade going. I don't know what we're gonna get. Well, we've got a lot of resource points. Might as well get a big one, right? Let's go front downforce. It's hard to go wrong with downforce. That's a major front downforce upgrade. Jesus Christ, that is gonna take forever, too. Maybe I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't fail, it'll come in for Singapore, uh, and we could use that shit there, so, ah, uh, fuck it. 42 days, my goodness gracious. Alright, then we'll go ahead and advance. Uh, roll dampers, let's go! Uh, we got some reaction training for our man Bent. Turbo, alright, there we go. Alright, then it is season break time. Wow. Alright, you got a general wear upgrade. Alright, so then we'll keep on advancing. Uh, hey, we got the fabrication spec, whatever the hell. Alright, cool. Running costs. Durability equipment upgrade. Our new parts have Pistons! Let's go. Alright, so here's what uh, what it's looking like then. Uh, we are we have closed the gap on Williams. We're still last in development. We're starting to close that gap. We're down to one. That one we just got. Huge arrow upgrade. Uh, that'll be coming here eventually. Uh, now at this point we need more resource points. I, looking back, I probably shouldn't have spent it all on that, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Either way, we got pistons, so we should be good on that, uh, oh yeah, we got turbo upgrade, general wear upgrade, look at this, uh, roll dampers and get some tire wear, uh, nothing quite in the aero department, but, yeah, we're living good. Also, like, I can recommend upgrades, I didn't know that. I'd like to recommend this boy, F1, yes please, I like this. Alrighty then, one of my favorite tracks, Circuit de Spa, Francochamps, tremendous circuit, historic circuit, doesn't get much cooler than this. Let's hop into it. Welcome along then to the Belgian Grand Prix, the race that gave us the maiden victory for the Jordan team back in 1998. And in the same team, the phenomenal debut of a young Michael Schumacher. There's always something special just around one of the many corners of this fan favorite circuit. Spa-Francorchamps is a 4.35 mile tour of the Ardennes countryside with nine rights and 10 lefts, giving us a grand total of 19 corners. Average lap speeds in the dry can reach about 145 miles per hour, but without a significant improvement in the conditions, we're not gonna be seeing anything like that today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Russell, Lando Norris, and Hamilton. Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Ocon, and Valtteri Bottas. Verstappen, Joe, Sebastian Vettel, and Ricardo. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Albon, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, and Bent Viscal. Magnussen, Sonoda, Stroll. They've taken a grid penalty. And Wang. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Well, it's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. All right, well, this ought to go good. 
Starting P last, I decided to take all brand new engine components because you know why not? It's spa, you know. If we're any kind of fast, we'll make up spots. If not, you know, whatever. Yeah, so it looks like it's gonna pour fucking rain most of the entire race except for the end. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell we'll do here. We'll just stick around and see where we can come out. Uh, I like our chances in the wet weather. It's kind of an equalizer almost sometimes. I don't know how it's gonna go at spa, but uh, yeah, probably this is probably one of the few times take some extra fuel out of it. I hope. Unless it's calculating how much we're going to use in the wet weather, I don't know. Either way, I don't think I'm going to be stopping there in the middle where it wants me to. I don't <laughs> I don't know about all that. We'll see. This ought to be fun. Full wet start. I don't think I've had this uh, in this year's game yet. I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't. I can't imagine I would have a worse time starting this car right, than what I did last, last week in the hearts. We're learning the gears, so let's go through the wall <laughs> that, uh, Hungary. I mean, I got away there better, even though I had a nice little correction. Uh, I feel like I, I still got off better there than, yeah, on the hards at Hungary. I don't know. It's, I, yeah. At least I'm last on the grid. I can take my sweet ass time. The rain's getting lighter now, but it's gonna take what? a while for the track to dry out. Bro, we're not even, we're not even, like, started the race yet, and it's already lightening it up. Like, it's a big ass puddle I gotta start right behind, so that'd be good. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh-uh. Oh! That's a lot of free spots. Alright. How the fuck? How do I get more traction in the full wets here than I get just absolutely murking my tires on the formation lap of Hungary on the hards and I can't- you tell me I can't- uh oh Oh, my fucking did not turn there. Holy shit. Alright, we're good. Same, but- but still, like, what the fuck? How do I start better? How do I get more traction up off the fucking rip in this? Oh, God. I can't see. I appreciate the name tags, because I can't see. I got a little bit of a run. Okay. Oh, I could have got two if I was a little bit more aggressive. That's okay. All right, let's focus now for the rest of the race. Yep. Oh man, how about do what Vettel did? I watched him get loose and did the exact same thing. Oh. All right, yeah, I just couldn't hang out there on the outside. That's okay. Oh. This thing fast in the straightaways, so I'll tell you that. And if it stays wet weather for a while, I'll be able to use uh, a lot of the ERS. I don't know, Albon's or yeah, Albon's holding on with me pretty good. Okay, doesn't turn. Yeah, understandable. I feel like they kind of like. I don't know even what's that. Oh my God, Williams just sent it in there into himself, into themselves. Nice, nice move. But yeah, I feel like the uh, the track limits they don't give me they don't yell at me too much for that as much as they used to. But it's cool by me because the shit's annoying after a holy fucking where are you going? Well, the TV doesn't give a shit. Do I got a grab a gear going up here. Oh, I'm about to do. I did. That shit still don't turn. This thing has like no turn in on the. Uh, to be fair, it didn't have a lot of turn in in the dry either. This thing is, uh, I can pretty much handle the wheel spin just fine. It just, it doesn't have a lot of front end in it. Uh, that's why we're waiting for that front downforce upgrade. That's gonna take 40 fucking days. But whenever we get that, uh, that'll be lovely. Like I said, it should come in for Singapore as long as it doesn't fail. We're gonna need some front turn in for that track. Well, Ricardo got the move done up there. Uh oh, and there, uh oh, he's going back at him. Oh, Jesus. Damn. In the rain, side by side, up the fucking you Rouge, Red Yon. Goodness gracious. I think I can get the Vettel, though. Ricardo looks pretty sporty, even though Vettel keeps on coming back at him. All right, well, maybe I can't catch Vettel. Uh, Albon's catching me really quick all of a sudden. For what reason, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's doing anything different. The track is starting to, yeah, change. But 
Thanks to this light rain, it's going to be with us for a while now. <laughs> okay. So, is it intermediate time or what? If you think you can get past, make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. If you think you can get past, yeah, okay. Hey, Vettel, would you mind letting me pass? No, okay. All right, I'm unboxing this lap, I believe. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. Since the track's getting faster and this thing's driving like shit. Cause he's fucking wet tires and it's not not meant for him anyways. Uh -huh. I don't think anybody else has done this, so this might be a This might be a no no, but I don't know, we'll see. I mean I, I how far could we possibly be off of intermediate weather if we're not already there? Right? I don't know, we're about to find out. Come on. Okay, this seems to have been a problem removing the right front wheel. We need to try and put that behind us. And let's Why would it go smoothly, is my question. Possible. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit oh, stops. Let's uh, go. I think there's going to be more scheduled pit stops. All right, well. All right, well, there's no doubt I've put time on uh, Ben. Uh, I've gained a little bit of time. Not a lot of bit of time, but. I don't know. Honestly, feels the same to me. Should it feel the same? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I just didn't make any sense to still be out there on the full wets. I don't think. Maybe, but I mean, if it feels the same on the intermediates, maybe I should have stayed out there. I, I I don't know. I think it turns a little better. I feel like I got more to play with in the front end. Maybe just because the tires are fresher. But that's just the one thing I never liked about these games is because you can never be creative. With, with them, like, whatever the AI does is always the right thing for the game. And obviously the AI hasn't taken tires yet, so... It's not right to be on the intermediates, but... It doesn't seem like I'm too far off, which is cool, I guess. Anyways, I just, like, for, for, for something that should have a lot of creativity when it comes to strategies and stuff like that, this game does a really shit job of making sure that they either A, even work or play out or anything like that, so... Especially when it comes to wet weather. I mean, like, should there not be a dry line somewhere on this racing facility? I don't see one. It's just like, it's crazy to me how long they've been doing the same stuff and just have zero improvement on any... any kind of race strategy or anything that plays out in these kind of scenarios, you know? And while there's still a lot of rays to be played out, I could eat my words. I don't think I will. We'll see, though. There's a new strategy available on the MFD. Oh, is there now? Oh, that's exciting. Wow, wet weather tires. Go fuck yourself. Confirmed. <laughs> I mean, you, you explained it to me. Uh, even on the formation lap, he was like, well, the rain's slowing down. Bro, it's been nine laps around a wet weather spa. What are we doing now with the rain, huh? Is it heavier or is it not heavier? There's no reason we should be on the wets at this point. Am I wrong? It's barely even fucking drizzling. Not to mention fucking 22 Formula Un cars warming up the track and hopefully creating a dry line, which obviously that hasn't happened. Fucking of course on top of everything else. Bent is like one of the few cars, the only two cars I think I am catching, Latifi and Bent. Fuck off, man. Yep, the track is just so wet, man. The track is just so wet. There's puddles everywhere. Full wets, you know, is obviously the fastest tire. No, nope, you're right. Oh. Okay, information on science. Right, they've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. All right, right drop your speed. Our delta well, is too low. This will help me probably get back on. Oh my Slow god, I'm going to get a penalty. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Wow, both the Ferraris? Did the Ferraris just fucking mur murder each other? What the fuck? I'm at the back of the pack now. I'm about to come in for fresh intermediates. I'm not putting the wets back on. I'm not doing it. I, I fucking... Oh, is it? This wet standing fucking water! Oh my god, slicks! Don't start thinking about slicks! What about intermediates? Are we thinking about intermediates, huh? I've been thinking about intermediates since lap fucking three! Oh, and it's fucking broke. Does that mean I can just go? Ah, uh, who the fuck knows? 
I'm gonna come in and put fresh intermediates on it. I'm not gonna put slicks on it, I learned my lesson there. A little fucking drift action while we're here, alright. Well, let's take a look at what happened to Chuck here. Uh, out of the lead, too. Uh, the thing's gonna break, yeah, right there. And as you can guess, what happened? Yep. Well, that's what happened to the Ferraris. Let's take an onboard look at Carlos. Yep, nothing he could do there. <laughs> well, in an unfucking usual turn of events, both of the Ferraris have died. For one reason or another, I'm still fucking in the back. Uh, oh, wow. Purple again, what do you know? All right. Perfect wow. job on the turn in there, Thank mate. you. Looks like a nice... All right, well, can't safety car Q, do not exceed Delta pace. Uh, who the fuck knows? Um, guess I'm just gonna catch up and see what happens. Hopefully the game is okay with me catching up. Oh, okay. All right, so what, these guys are on the Delta, am I right? This is exactly what we did at, what, Canada? So you tell me the game still fucking broke is what's happening here? Right, so we have a safety car that would probably explain why everybody is still fucking grouped up in their same little groups and not catching the safety car like they are supposed to. Return to correct Gotta position. position oh yeah, oh do I? Do I? Fucking do I? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, or, or do I have a delta? What the fuck, do, what, what do I have, game? This game sucks. There's no reason for it to suck this fucking bad. And yet it does. God damn it. Safety car Q, do not exceed Delta. And then it just fucking freaks the fuck out. <sighs> oh my god. It may or may not be fixing itself, I think. Because people are now finally hitting pit road. No, I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. I've been fucking crawling around all fucking caution. I'll wait. No, I'll let everybody hit pit road. Let everybody hit pit road so they can most definitely come out in front of me, no matter what. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm losing time at this point. I'm telling you. The more I play this game, it's like the more it fucking is dumb. There's a whole bunch of cars on pit road that just stopped this time by. Uh, that's good for them. Great for them. We're on the other half of the fucking track. Just still dicking around with this delta. Alright, guess what? That's right, there's more pit stops happening. Uh, a bunch of back markers that we'd probably be racing with and probably leapfrogging right now. Uh, Aston Martin, Haas, AlphaTauri, maybe not Haas, but uh oh, uh oh, are they pitting? Again? People are taking intermediates. Wow, it's almost like I figured they'd probably get there eventually. Oh, I'd have to get the fucking Delta back. And penalty? Yep, alright. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're not giving me a fucking penalty, I can tell you that. So we'll we'll fucking go back here. Right, drop your speed. Our All right, yeah. Low, All right, so what? So what? What? So this Delta, this Delta means I can't fucking pass the people that are pitting directly in front of me. Is that is that what's happening right here? Or am I still gonna be able to fucking? Am I gonna be able to pass these people? This is unbelievable. It's unfucking believable. And they're coming out right here. No. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The You're fucking kidding me. This lap. When the field accelerates, remember there's no overtaking until fucking the timing line. Safety car in this lap. And what? They're going green like right now. Are they not? Ten minutes left of this rain, then we think it's going to uh -huh. dry up. Ten minutes. Oh really? Prepare to resume racing. Uh, I'd love to. Oh yeah, all right, well, looks like it's green then. And two cars are peeling off pit road right as it goes green. For what? I don't know. Either way, we're a mile fucking behind. Everybody's on the intermediates now, so that doesn't fucking matter. I mean, at this rate, I just think the developers should be ashamed to put out a product Okay, so consistently, year in and year out, that is as broken as what it is. Um, and even at this point, I don't know how many patches have taken place to fix it, and yet there's still this big of a game race-breaking bug that I have experienced not once, and probably not even twice. I don't know how many times I've had this now. 
I mean, incredible job, everybody. Everybody who had a hand in on this one. Great job. Everybody always just blames it on EA, but the EA doesn't have shit to fucking do with this game other than publishing the motherfucker and owning them. Because it's still the same fucking developers and codemasters and all the same motherfuck motherfuckers that put this bullshit together year in and year out. It's always been broken year in and year out. Just expect better, man. It's ridiculous. Because now I have to fucking ride around by myself 13 seconds to the next fucking car. Just because we just weren't allowed to catch up during the safety car. How fucking dumb of a bug do you need to have to be able to be fixed or anything? Or like, I don't, like, why was, why is this not fixed? How hard could it possibly be? The cautions have, like, this might be the first year I think I've had the problem with the cautions. So, like, alright. How the fuck can we get ca safety cars to work normally? We can't get them to work normally in this year's game. And, well, after it's been released now. I have so many questions. I have so many questions, and rarely get any answers, but the same still applies. I just, I, I just feel like developers should, should go home at night and be fucking disappointed that they fucking stink at their job. That's all. Okay, oh. we've been informed of an incident which has resulted in loose debris on the track. A safety car is Oh, it looks like a racing point. Oh boy, does this mean like am I gonna be able to be caught back up now? Or is it gonna fucking break again? It looks like there was a slow racing point. I don't know why there was a slow racing point, but it looks like there was a slow racing point. This this gets interesting. I really hope we will be able to catch up now. So here's the next question. We've spent a lot of this race under caution. So the, now remember, it said it was supposed to dry out at the very end. I guess it's approximate at this point, but I feel like we've spent so much time under caution at this point. Like, we should probably be dry at this point, but obviously I don't know shit about how the weather works in this game. And quite frankly, I don't think this game knows how the weather works either, so I don't know. Oh, and my rear wing just fucking broke. For what? Well, we might just catch up. We might. I'm hauling ass right now. I don't know. Once again, how many? Okay, looks like some of those puddles are clearing. Uh -huh. We're still definitely on the right tire for the time being, but we're probably not uh -huh. a million miles away from slick conditions. Oh yeah. It's taking me two safety cars and a whole bunch of fucking laps. But I'm finally about to catch up, I think. Uh, and we'll see whether the track dries up or not. We don't have a lot of laps left. At this point, we might just be staying out on the inners. And we're not even going green this lap. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down and put fresh intermediates on it then. Uh, if I can. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna lose two fucking spots. Whoop de doo. I'm gonna put fresh intermediates on it. I don't give a shit. These tires are fucking torn as shit. I've had them on forever. Honestly, I should put, I should put softs on it, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it until I see this track dry out in two laps under green. Once again, I just feel like the weather's so one-dimensional. Like, I just feel like it would have fucking stopped raining at some point under under safety okay, car. Seems to have been a, but my thing with it, it's just like you never get any of that variation in the weather. Like, why was why wouldn't it dry out while we're fucking pacing or whatever? Like, I just like, I'm sure once it goes back to green, it's just gonna like as soon as we go back, it's gonna fucking it's gonna stop raining. It's just like France, like it's it, safety car came out right, it was probably about to dry up. Why doesn't it dry up when it's supposed to? Or around when it's supposed to? I don't know. I guess my point being is, it, like, once again, the weather only really does a couple of different things. It's not weather. <laughs> does that make sense? Alright, well, I lost, like, three spots because Vettel was way to, way to fuck back there, so... Alright, well, you know... I don't know. Safety oh boy, safety in car lap. in this safety lap. Car in this Are we racing? Racing? Is that racing to me? All right, there's one. Green I gotta hope flag. these tires go. I don't have any. Sorry, Ben. Slow as fuck. Ben, don't make me do this, buddy. Don't make me do this. Nope. God damn it, Ben. 
okay, we've got plenty of energy. Huh. We overtake Button and have a go. Come on, you can You deserve this. to lose that spot, is what you do. You deserve to lose that spot. Will you? I don't know. Probably. Add block two. Yeah, there he goes. Yep. Energy. Has the rain stopped? It looks like it stopped. Like I said, why the fuck wouldn't it do that under Pace Car? It's like it waits. Oh, we can't do that under safety car. That would be too much to do at once. They can't even figure out how to work the safety car half the time. See what I mean? And then it's like, as soon as we go back green, there's that scheduled. All right, we'll probably go two lap. That's the thing. We don't have many laps left. So right at the very end of this race, the fucking track will be dry. It's the same process almost every time. That's fucking crazy to me. No variation. Wouldn't that be fun to kind of guess, like, like when it's gonna get close to like dries or anything? I don't know. I don't know, man. I just feel like it does such a shit job. It's so boring. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the same way almost every time. The way the track just goes about wet weather. That goes for all the tracks too. All right, I'm going. Fucking Latifi pinching me off and shit. I'm gonna get that spot. That's your damn mind. Just fucking holding me up. I'm, I'm really glad I've been okay, able to do so much work on these brand new intermediates. The All right. I hope this thing fucking drafts up the hill. It didn't do it so good the last time, I'll tell you that. There we go, this time I get a bigger run. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Thanks! Why the fuck am I doing three more laps? Alright, what'd I tell you? Well, that's the end of the road for me, I suppose. Yeah, I just... I just, like, the only thing I can say at this point, I have to imagine this would have been a really fun race. And then, what do you know? Ruined by another bug that's been around for, uh, I don't know, how long has it been around? You tell me. I know I'm not the only one who's had it. I know I'm not the only one who's had it more, more, more than one time. The two Ferraris killed each other. The one race that happens, the safety car bug spreads the entire field out and then lets us race. But brunches us up, what, for the last, like, two, three laps? What do you fucking do? Yeah. Yeah, real great time. Yeah. What a fucking joke. A fucking joke. Whoop de fucking do. I'm pissed. Spa is always one of the coolest fucking tracks, man. And once again, these games constantly ruin this for me personally. Like what weather well, spa rays we get to start in the full wets? Right, that was not fun at all. That was just dumb. And it's all based around that one fucking thing. I mean, if you want to complain about the weather like I do half the time, whatever. The weather's been the same fucking bullshit literally since day one. That I've played these games the hasn't changed hardly anything. They even added the 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 average weather, their approximate weather. That hasn't that changed fucking bullshit. They ain't changed shit at all. Proximate my, my fucking ass. This is dumb. Dumb experience. Oh, let's go. I got another fucking couch. Fuck yeah! Well, George Russell with the dub from fourth on the grid. Uh, Lando Norris P2, Sergio Perez P3. Wonderful grid. Uh, wonderful podium. Uh, once again, the Ferraris died and just really opened this shit up. Uh, we got Ocon, Hamilton, Alonso, Verstappen, Gasly, Ricardo, Botas rounds out your points. Uh, Joe Guan, you just missing out. Uh, Albon was close. Stroll, Magnussen. Uh, we were back here, P17 on the three stopper. Uh, Latifi, Bent, Sebastian Vettel. Oh, there's the, the, yeah, the two DNS. I like how they just, I still don't know what happened to Ferrari at this point, but once again, the quota for F1 game. We got two DNS. All right, we're good. We can conclude the race. All righty. Well, we'll give you a look at the updated point standings after Spa. Uh, George Russell. I mean, he's he's close to P2 at least. Um, but I can't imagine Ferrari's going to have many days like that. So we'll take a look at the rest of it. Uh, not too much has changed. Still the same two back at the back who have not scored. Well, there you have it then. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're on to the Dutch Grand Prix in the next one. Once again, I appreciate you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.